Primer, begin. So you press Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and CC Vector Blur. Now what this effect does is it takes colors and pixel differences in the shot and connects them so everything looks like it is together and like it lacks hard edges. So if I turn it up immediately, what you can see is that the clouds now become one individual piece and different parts of the wave become crystallized and even pentagonal and hexagonal because that's what CC Vector Blur does is it takes colors and it connects them so your shot looks like it's one continuous piece with just color differences. Now I can change the angle at which this thing happens and if I change the angle to let's say 230 degrees it's now connecting at a 230 degree angle. If I bring it back to normal zero zero then there's no specific angle that is meant to offset. If I change the ridge softness you can also go very high and get rid of that effect entirely. But the ridge smoothness is actually the effect used whenever you want to change the rigidity of the actual connected vectors. So a perfect example here is this is just a simple wave shot with the sky above it. But whenever I press play and I turn the effect on to 80, it now looks like a painting or a mosaic. This is quite a beautiful shot and quite a beautiful effect you can apply to really anything that you want to make look like one continuous piece of paper or one continuous frame. Like always, press effect, blur and sharpen, and CC vector blur.